Well, the thing yeah, with exactly. um, you know doing genetic modification or synthetic biology approaches to algae is that algae are, first of all, we know very little about them, about their biology and their life history. Second of all, we know that many uh, species can become invasive, and when they do, in some cases, um, they really disrupt the ecosystems. They can proliferate into algae blooms, which sometimes result in toxins being secreted into the water that are um, dangerous to wildlife and dangerous to even to humans, because you know can cause serious illness and death. Um, they've been, in fact, linked recently to Alzheimer's and dementia, exposure to some of these uh, toxins from algae blooms. They also deplete the oxygen in the water when these blooms happen. Um, so those are, you know, various things that happen with algae in the wild. Um, we also know they're very good at, uh, they, they reproduce incredibly quickly. Uh, so their genetics are constantly going, undergoing, you know, the processes that happen during reproduction, but they can also undergo horizontal gene transfer, where they uh, transfer genetic material to other organisms or other unrelated individuals. Um, so our understanding of them is so very shoddy and poor at this point um, that for us to go in and start ma manipulating them in ways to you know, produce chemicals for fragrances and uh, fuels and so on um, you know, is, is very risky. Um, and so what are some of the potential scenarios that we're looking at um, with, with synthetically modified algae being created? Well, I mean, there's always the possibility that some synthetically modified algae say something that's been modified to secrete hydrocarbons directly, um, could escape into the wild and start secreting hydrocarbons into waterways <laughs> directly. I mean, this is uh, immediate, you know, off the top of your head, you have to, you know, question whether something like that could happen. Whether they would survive in, in nature, we, we really don't know. But one of the things we do know is that that in, in trying to uh, engineer these algae, they're looking for varieties that can withstand a lot of stressors. So they're easy to grow in big cultivated masses. They can um, outcompete uh, grazers and, and contaminants that might get into the equipment that they're um, very, very productive, and those are exactly, in some cases, the, the characteristics that make them also likely to be more able to survive and outcompete, uh, na uh, you know, native species should they escape. And the other thing about it is, of course, you know, these these researchers are taking different varieties of algae from wherever they might be and bringing them to labs someplace else. So they're taking species from one place to another and cultivating them in mass. So the risks of just, you know, invasive, whether it's synthetically modified or genetically modified is, you know, another concern, but just the fact that they're um, being transferred and cultivated all of, uh, in different places is also concerning. Cool. Um, there was one more question. But I can't remember. Anyway, that, I think that's really good. Is it enough?